friends, uh, as I said right at the beginning, that it was going to be a very educative uh, talk and we are not in the least disappointed. Before I uh, make uh, a few comments on Professor Shambhor's talk, I have to say something which I should have said right at the beginning, and that is to thank our dear friend, uh, Professor Arvind Gallery, uh, who is from uh, the Institute of Chinese Studies, New Delhi. And one of the young Indian China scholars with whom uh, ORF Mumbai, as well as the Jishan Lin Center for India-China Studies, are going to collaborate uh, quite closely in the time to come. And thank you for making this talk happen because it was uh, Dr. Yellery who suggested to us that uh, Professor Shambo is coming to India and you should take advantage of his presence and invite him over to Mumbai. And the first visit, I didn't know that it's the first visit, but please keep coming. <laughs> uh, I'll begin by saying uh, that at least we in Mumbai, we at ORF Mumbai, we don't want the US-China relations to become confrontational. It's not good for the world, not good for Asia, and not good for India either. And not good for the United States or China. Although there are some voices in some parts of uh, the world, including in our own country. Uh, and therefore, we here in ORF Mumbai, we are deeply interested in engaging China because we believe that China is our friend and neighbor, civilizational neighbor, and we should understand China in depth. And of course, we should understand China also from the eyes of friends like you. I was struck by one observation you made about uh, President Xi Jinping. Uh, that even though since 2009, China, in your, in your opinion, is, is going in a particular direction, uh, President Xi Jinping, after he assumed office 2012, is very confident, capable, and you also said, if I'm not mistaken, visionary. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you, friends, that uh, you know he's a remarkable leader. And you refer to this book, right. Xi Jinping, the globe, the governance of China. And this is not propaganda at all. You know, it's it's real substance. This is a Xi Jinping is, a, is truly a remarkable leader. And you also referred to his speech in Davos. And I would like to just read two short uh, passages from his speech in Davos on the 17th of January this year. He went to Davos for the first time. And he says, in a philosophical sense, nothing is perfect in the world. One would, see, one would fail to see the full picture if he claims something is perfect because of its merits or if he views something as useless just because of its defects. I'll read it again. In a philosophical sense, nothing is perfect in the world. One would fail to see the full picture if he claims something is perfect because of its merits or if he views something as useless just because of its defects. So nothing is perfect, no country is perfect, and therefore I think this, is, this also refers to China itself, and equally to India, equally to any other country. So we should see the merits, and we should also see the difficulties, and you know, have a balanced approach, and always learn from each other's experiences. I think that China 
is uh, following a very distinctive model of development. Mm. Uh, it may not be unique, but it certainly is very distinctive. Mm. One of its biggest successes, especially from an Indian point of view, is the manner in which it has lifted millions upon millions from abject poverty. Stratification, Gini coefficient, all these are, they have their uh, validity. But abject poverty, hunger, it's not there. In a short time, so, and this is a major challenge before India. You asked whether India is in the middle income group in category. Uh, we are certainly not there. But uh, just because, uh, you know, you see all this poverty, pro prosperity in India, Delhi, Mumbai, etc., mm -hmm. it, it does not give the true picture of India. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to see how we follow an Indian way to make India free of poverty, free of want, mm -hmm. an Indian way, just as China has tried to follow a Chinese way. The other passage that really struck me in Xi Jinping's address at uh, Davos, he says, world history shows that the road of human civilization has never been a smooth one, and that mankind has made progress by surmounting difficulties. No difficulty, however daunting, will stop mankind from advancing. And what he, sees, what he says next is very important. When encountering difficulties, one should not complain about ourselves, blame others, lose confidence, or run away from responsibilities. We should join hands and rise to the challenge. History is created by the brave. History is created by the brave. Let us boost confidence, take actions, and march arm in arm toward a bright future. I'm sure that he is, at least a good bit of it is addressed to the United States after Trump. Hmm? So no blaming other, nor going inward, but marching hand in hand. And we would like to see, you know, you represent the United States. We would like to see United States and China, India and China, and let me add, India and Pakistan, all of us should join hands in facing challenges, many of which are common, and some are specific. Mm -hmm. So we want to thank you, Professor, for accepting our invitation and adding to our knowledge of China. And in the course of uh, adding to our knowledge of China, also adding to the knowledge of our knowledge of what's happening in the world, and uh, together, let's face with confidence the challenges before us and, uh, and hope that uh, in the years to come, more understanding, more cooperation, more trust, and most certainly, no confrontation that leads to catastrophes like the wars that took place between big powers in the last century. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. On that very reassuring note, uh, may I ask you to present yes. a memento to Professor Shambok and to Dr. Yellery. Thank you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Congratulations. Congratulations. I have to, I will look forward to reading it. Arvind ji. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening once again.